yeah if you just kind of right what so what are we talking about now if we're, we're talking about the the edges of the metal being a bit sharp yeah because it, it, it does feel even running like this i can feel that that's a bit sharp yeah a bit gritty yeah and again you know i'm seeing kind of not just saying it governor it it's it's better than loads of Loads of cheap guitars. Uh -huh. Loads of them are really kind of, you know, uh -huh. you're on your way to A&E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. No, I've, it out I've, the box, I've, you know. I've cut my finger on a cheap guitar yeah, yeah, fairly yeah, recently yeah. in a store where yeah, I just yeah. grabbed it to yeah, see yeah. what it was like, yeah, yeah. ran my hand up, yeah. and it took a little nick yeah, out of my... Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what do we use to sort that out then? Because well, that's something people can do at home, right? Uh, mm -hmm. If you could do it at home, could you do it at home? Yeah, you probably could do it at home, okay. Um, what you would need to do... Can you do it? Is it not just like getting a little file in there to... No, what you see with this is, this is just a, an inexpensive baby file, but it's one where we've ground the bottom of it. Aha, uh -huh. so it's not going to start scratching the... typically you won't be able to buy something that is, this is slightly V'd. Yeah. Only slightly. Um, but we've ground the bottom off to mean that we can kind of get it in without it damaging like the wood and what right. you're doing is it's quite hard to explain but if you imagine hang on let me get my little uh super so i love the fact that i'm using my phone as a second camera i mean Why not? life's getting ridiculous so so kind of what we're trying to do is just just rounding it off ever so slightly, right? Yeah, so you're taking anything that's sticking out that way, yeah. you're taking off with that motion. Yeah. Anything that's sticking out that way and is sharp on the the dome as the yeah, dome yeah, yeah. comes down, we're taking off like this. Uh-huh. So it's kind of a What's this called? If if you've got it and you wanted to take it to a store to ask them to do uh, it. You're, you're kind of rounding over the fret ends, really. Uh -huh. Or addressing the sharp fret ends. But if you wanted to do it at home, what you could do. Um, so we're reaching into this bag of tricks. Kind of what you need to be able to do is tease those little corners off. So, but you won't be able to do it without hitting the face of the fingerboard. So, you could mask off either side with just tape. Yeah, just like masking, masking tape. tape. If you use masking tape, you need to be careful um, because the trick you can do with masking tape. On some guitar finishes, if it's a, a finished fingerboard, yeah. uh, aren't as robust as others. So um, if you do this, you kind of put it on your skin first and then you pull it off again. And that takes uh -huh. some stick. Okay. okay, there you go. So. So you're basically putting just a little bit on either side of the fret that you're going to work on, right? Yeah. And you would only do it on the frets that you feel the burr on. You wouldn't just do it on all of them as a kind of a thing. Yeah, you, I think a necessity you do it on the ones that need doing. But uh -huh. you might you might find once you've done the ones you've done, would then feel better than the other ones anyway. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and what you could use for this is Scotch Bright. It's quite good. Scotch Bright. You know, like Pan Scarra. Yeah, yeah. The Pan Scarra, the yes. nylon on that one. Right. But you can buy um, fine Scotch Bright. And therefore, and if you were doing that, you'd just you'd and you could you'd you mask off that, all of them it, first of all, and yeah. then just run it and up and down. Or you could kind of do it like this. This kind of uh -huh. action against it there. Huh. 
And what I've done with this is this is just 1500 wet and dry and you know, I've kind of folded it over so I've got like a... So it's a bit more yeah, solid. Yeah, a bit more solid. And it's tucking right in on the bottom, which is where we want to get. So again, it's a similar action to that filing. If this was a, like a rosewood or, you know, an unfinished, if you like, fingerboard. Yeah. Then you wouldn't necessarily have to mask it off, but you don't want to use very coarse grades. Yeah. Because you mark mark the wood. I mean, it's just the kind of thing where if you're fairly new to guitar, you're probably not going to be able to be playing all the time anyway because your fingertips are hurting. So this is a nice way to get your guitar playing yeah, yeah, yeah. even nicer as as you go along. Okay, so we've just done that one. So if yeah. you feel... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's noticed massively no yeah. different. Wow. Yeah, okay. Now, and that was a, a, a minute with a bit of wet and dry. Yeah. On a, and on this guitar, you know, it, what you could do is potentially you could mask it all uh -huh. all the way that way. Yeah. And on there, and then just go up and down like this. Uh huh. You know, I've, mm -hmm. I'm kind of making it. Like this. Yeah. But, I mean, you could kind of do that anyway, couldn't you? Like, you can, if, if, yeah. if you, it, it, it's a, it's not to, a to super be, expensive guitar. Yeah, you could, yeah, if you yeah. didn't want to flaff around with all of the, yeah, exactly. Tape, you could yeah, pull you, the string back yeah, like that and, and just. just uh, and what that will also do is it will very, very subtly soften the join between the yeah. face of mm -hmm. the camber, the fingerboard, and the sides. Yeah, and that's quite a nice thing. That's a nice thing, isn't it? Anyway, yeah. yeah, and you pay, you know, by. <laughs> yeah, yeah. An Anderson okay. or a sir, you'll be yeah, paying. Yeah. You'll be paying Somebody who's sort of done that, right? Yeah, yeah. that's quite. So I think that's that's maybe one of the good things about having a cheaper guitar that you're going to do this to is that you don't have to be so precious about it, and you can, you know, it's not like you're going to lose a stack of cash if you do yeah. something slightly wrong or sand a bit of the wood off or get a burr in it or yeah. whatever. Um, cool. Okay, that's a great trick. Well. Um, I think this has been a lot of fun. I've learned some stuff too. Hopefully, uh, you've enjoyed this series as well. Oh, he's got. Uh, there's just one, one more. more. Well, are you one Columbo one now? Yeah. Right? Just, <laughs> yeah. So strap buttons. People yeah. put strap locks on guitars, which is fine. Yeah. I've got a problem with that. Uh, it's a good idea. But what you, what defeats the object of either strap buttons or strap locks is when they become loose. Uh -huh. So if they're loose, you always want to just tighten them up because what you don't want to do is get it all playing mm -hmm. nice and have it all and then change it. the pick and then drop it on the floor. In fact, that is, that's one of the things that I should mention that I, I recommend on my course anyway is that everyone should just buy a locking strap straight yeah. away because yeah. uh, I've seen guitars drop, I've seen guys with yeah. beautiful brand new yeah. Les Pauls and yeah. at one fall, if it's this one that comes off and the headstock goes yeah. down, that's the, you know, yeah. you've lost a stack of cash. It yeah. might be repairable, but yeah. it just, well, it, it's crazy it, it not to do it. It kind of doesn't matter whether it's repairable or not. if. The, you know, it's, it affects the value of it, oh. and it, it also affects your perception of it as well. People say, oh, will it sound the same when it's fixed? Yeah. You know? And what what we tend to say is, if it's a headstock break as well, um, it you know it shouldn't do it shouldn't do it. It most likely I don't, I I think it hardly ever does. But you have to remember the guitars are quite often be glued together bits mm -hmm. of wood in the first place. The fact that you've got them, yeah, an yeah. accidental break that right. necessitates glue yeah, yeah. is well, so what? Yeah. But as yeah. long as it's, it might not feel the same, no, it, you know, no. emotionally. Emo yeah, um, it, it's definitely will play tricks for you for sure. Yeah, and it's uh, but uh, I've just done it on a few. It is as simple as just unscrewing the screw and then yeah. screwing it back in usually, yeah. right? Yeah. One thing that I found is that I. I want to use the same screw that was on there if it'll fit in there because yeah. sometimes the ones that you get with the, like the Charla yeah, ones, yeah, yeah. they're like re really long yeah, and yeah. I don't want to drill out my guitar right. even more so right. I tend to use the screw that's in the uh, <coughs> in the thing and that's that's the kind of upgrade that is relatively inexpensive and could save you a bundle on a yeah. more expensive guitar. And I guess you know cheaper still is 
using Grosch rubbers. Grosch, yeah, so you get a free beer, Grosch beer bottles yeah, yeah, with a little pop top, yeah. you can take that little red washer off and uh, pop it over, and you get a free beer with that one, which is always yeah, a good thing. Right, that's right, yeah. I use. Um, so, what, you still use you use the Grosch? Yeah, bottle? yeah, well, yeah? We, we buy, we buy in hundreds at a time, those rubber little... Of the washers? Yeah. But then you don't get the beer. No, no, it's, uh, it's true, but you know. <laughs> it'd, make, it'd make work a bit yeah. more interesting if everyone has to get through the beer. To, um, yeah, so there, there's another upgrade. Uh, anything else that we... So we'll do the pickups, yeah. the, the tuners and possibly electrics at a later date. Um, yeah, so what, what what do you think? Is there If you've watched this series through and you've got any questions, uh, you know that you can leave it in the comments on the website uh, or on the YouTube videos and we'll try and check them out and uh, see what we can do for another series. Uh, we've got an acoustic guitar to check out another time as well, but that might be an even harder one because that's just harder, right? <laughs> harder to fix a horrible acoustic guitar than a horrible electric guitar. Yeah, I think that guitar. could be a challenge, but yeah. we'll, um, well, let's we'll see. go. And, uh, yeah, that might need some Grolsch first. I think, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Before we hit that a couple. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this series. We'll put some links over to Charlie's most excellent store, uh, the Charlie Charlie Guitar Experience. And uh, thank you, man. Cheers, it's been a real pleasure. Yeah, thank likewise, you. Yeah. Hope thank you've you. enjoyed it. Thank you.